Yo, yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today I'm going to be comparing a physical damage bloodstain uh, set for Kaching with a Thundering Fury Electro set with Kaching. Um, now, there might not be, it's like a little spoiler, not, there might not be like a best or worst set. It's going to be more like uh, this one's better for this part of the game and this one's better for this part of the game. Because I have played a lot with both sets and I do know they both have their specialties. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, and as for my physical damage set, uh, we're gonna do critical rate, critical damage as per usual, especially for Kaching, because she does get a uh, critical damage boost from her ascension. Uh, make sure you get physical damage on your cup as well, and electro damage if you're running electro set, and uh, critical rate as well. I never can get good uh, substats for this, but if you can, of course, do. Uh, for the weapons, uh, I'm using the Aquila Favonia. Obviously, not many people are gonna have this, so you can go with Black Sword or uh, Prototype Rancor, depending on uh, what's more accessible to you. And talents, I don't really, shouldn't really doesn't really matter for these because I'm gonna be using the same talents for both sets. But yeah, level A and uh, okay. And 55% critical rate, 113% critical damage. Uh, you do want a little more for your Kaching since uh, she does get. Like I said, uh, critical damage from Ascension, but it's just for the sake of testing, I think it should be okay. Alright, I'm going to be going to Abyss Floor 10. There is no Electro Boost, like there is like at 9 and 11, and uh, no Fire Boost or Jiggy Boost or anything. I'm gonna get that Bloodstained uh, passive up as fast as I can. One thing I really hate about this though is... Uh, since you do have consistent fire damage hitting you, sometimes it messes up your charge attacks. Alright, so I got the passive going now, so I can just spam. Yeah, uh, this is pretty simple to use, as you can see, you just kind of uh, hold right click. And you don't actually lose any stamina either, unless uh, you don't kill anyone for 10 seconds. But yeah, we're seeing around 9k criticals. That's with the passive. 8k without, I think. I think it scales differently for this guy. Let me check the slimes. Yeah, 3.5k, not too bad. Let me see me have electro damage. I don't think she should have any electro damage. It's actually not as bad as I thought, but it is pretty bad. Alright, so... The thing about this physical damage set, you, do, you can do a lot of consistent damage. But the thing, the reason I don't use it is because you don't really switch to your uh, other team members that much. You can like switch to Chi Chi, pop a heal, go back, pop a super conduct, and then you can lower their physical damage and just roll them. Uh, you can also like pop a Zhang Li shield. But the thing about uh, Electro, actually, let me just show you some gameplay. It's a lot simpler. Alright, so for the Thundering Fury set, critical rate, critical damage as per usual. Uh, not the best substats, especially for this one. I ground it for weeks and I could not get a decent substat piece. Uh, but honestly, the stats look pretty good. And this one is the only critical damage piece I got in the entire dungeon. Like, I couldn't even find a legendary piece with bad substats. Just didn't get one at all. So, uh, quite unfortunate. But the substats are still good since... Uh, I mean, not substats. The main stats are still good because I am using the Black Sword. If you don't have this, you can go with a Lion's Roar or a Iron Sting, that's a craftable weapon. Uh, as you can see, 55% critical rate, 170% critical damage. This can easily be like 180% if I do have that legendary piece. And 61% electro damage. So uh, yeah, let me show you guys some gameplay of this and some damage numbers. So same thing as last time, no boost or anything. This is just like the bare minimum amount of damage you can possibly do with a level 90 Kaching. So for this set, I like just putting my E down. And then... Uh, 
that's basically the general combo you want to be doing with Kitching. Obviously, you will always have a Venti ult up, but yeah. Since it is 40 energy, you can pretty much have it up all the time. Uh, her normal attacks aren't even close to what they were on physical. Uh, as you can see, around 9k with a E and 5k with a critical charge attack. So, not the best, but honestly, it's pretty good since you're gonna be using her just mostly for uh, alt spam, E spam, and uh, elemental reactions. I really just wanna <laughs> jungle all right now. <laughs> but yeah, should be getting off cooldown my ultimate. Nope, not really. Almost off cooldown. But yeah, just uh, having this particular Electro set with like an actual team, not some random stuff I post so I don't get any residence with anything, uh, is actually personally my favorite for Abyss. But if you do wanna be running. Uh, just like around the world killing elite monsters, I honestly prefer uh, physical damage because you can just literally just two or three shot everything and it's really like satisfying to see those big numbers. As for team synergy though and uh, elemental reactions, I definitely recommend the uh, electro damage set. You don't want to be just like normally DPSing with this one though. No, screw it, I'm just gonna jungle ult them. Boom. All right, so just a quick summary. I'm gonna put the damage numbers up on the screen and um, just while I talk about the sets. Uh, for the physical damage, you basically just wanna be running this throughout the open world. So you can do weeklies, elite monster farming, um, whatever that comes in your way, dailies and such with your physical damage set since it has a lot of uh, burst potential and you can finish fights really quickly. But as for the Abyss, you do want to be going Electro Damage, since there is Electro Damage boost and a lot of Elemental Synergy in Abyss. You can't like just YOLO it and just one-shot everything. Uh, if you guys don't want to build two sets for Kaching, which I assume most of you don't, I say just do Electro Damage for now. And then uh, as you get higher level, you can just experiment on and uh, play with other sets. But since Abyss is the hardest content in the game, and you actually need to have decent sets for that, I say go Electro first. And uh, yes, that is going to be it. I do think Electro is better overall. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you do have any questions, make sure you do leave them in the comments below. Also, if you guys do enjoy this content, make sure you like and sub to the channel. That is going to be it for me today. Peace.